Hello, Steve here from JK Towers. It's hard to believe it's been almost 10 years since we made the first video of for the uh, modified relay and the gear linkage, but it is, and I felt it was out of date and we really did need to update it. So here's a new one. Uh, in front of us is the relay. Um, this particular one was taken off a van today. It's a, uh, an early van, um, pre-1991. You can tell that it's got a um, spring on it. From 91 onwards, they took the spring off because they extended the gear lever below the rose joint and it makes the gear linkage far too heavy. So they took the spring off from 91 onwards. Um, okay, so this is, as I say, this is an early one. Wear tends to occur uh, in the base plate where the holes, where the bolt goes through, the gate that goes oval and misshapen. Uh, the original uh, has a... Um, a shaft going through the middle but only two bearing surfaces one at each end nylon bearing surfaces and the holes obviously wear quite badly as well now if we look at the long the sideways free play in this one if we pull it back a bit there we go and this is measuring 0.1 of a millimeter for each of the big me what measurements around that press it forwards oops we can see we've got 0 0.6 there we go 0 0.6 for a minute it doesn't look that much but um if you look at it the way it's moving there on the back as well 0.7. Now the input shaft of the gearbox is here, the shaft coming in from the base of the gear lever is over here, and working together that does actually lose quite a lot of free play, resulting in quite a lot of movement at the base of the stick, and that translates to a lot of movement at the top of the stick. It's an integral part of the whole linkage system. Obviously the collar wear is important, that's right on top of the gear stick. The base of the gear lever wear is also important, but the relay shouldn't be overlooked. It is an integral part and it does make quite a difference. It's a noticeable difference. Perhaps not as much as the collar and the base of the gear lever, but still very noticeable. Okay, um, I'll just show you the modified version. And here we have the modified version. Much thicker through bolt hinge running all the way through it there. Um, base plate has been drilled to 10 millimeters to accept that, which is 9.9 millimeters actually. It has bearings now the whole way through it, all the way down, not just the little nylon bits on either end like the original one did. And finally new balls as well. And if we test the uh, free play in this one going sideways, so it goes from there to uh, so just fractionally over 0 0.1 of a millimetre, which is considerably reduced and uh, no longitudinal movement whatsoever. So yes, it's a it's very, good, um, very good improvement, makes a big difference. If you're looking at, at the linkage as a whole, the collar goes here very often very badly worn, through the relay and off to the base of the gear lever over there. The base of the gear lever and the collar usually make the most difference, but this, this relay is still an integral part of the system and benefits from being changed together with new linkage rods over there. Okay, I hope that was useful. The website is www.jktowers.co.uk. Thank you.